Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another St. Patrick's Day card for you, and in today's video I will be using this stamp set from Honey Bee Stamps. This is the Treat Yourself stamp set. Now this is definitely not a St. Patrick's Day stamp. It has pumpkin pie, and cake pops, and coffees, and hot chocolates, and so what am I thinking? So. I am thinking that I wanted to go ahead and do something different and stretch this stamp set. I have a few St. Patrick's Day themed stamps that I've been using in my little mini series here and I have been picking up a few more St. Patrick's Day stamps because it's really fun and I want to have them for next year to create with but why not use something that you already have and make it into that theme so I have been celebrating St. Patrick's Day slowly with my kids over this last couple weeks or days of March because we don't know what the next few weeks will look like for us. So in our homeschool we are learning and loving, enjoying learning about St. Patrick's Day. So I picked up some white hot chocolate that changes color when you put the hot water in. So when you put the hot water in it changes green. So when I was looking through my stamps I was like Oh, I could totally create a hot chocolate themed card or just make the whipped cream on these images green to make a St. Patrick's Day themed card. So definitely don't be afraid to pick a stamp set that is not typically for this, but coffee and hot chocolate, that can be for all of the occasions. Just switch up the colors and make it work. You could even take this cake pop from the cake pop from this set and color that in green. Do a whole line of cake pops and just stamp Happy St. Patrick's Day. And you would have a fun St. Patrick's Day themed card just by adding in the right colors for that holiday or that fun event. So as you can see, I have stamped out two and I'm coloring the whipped cream in green. I'm using my Spectrum Brown markers. I'll have all of the supplies that I use down below in the description box if you are curious and want to know more specifically what I am using and yeah this was a one layer card I stamped these two images directly onto the card base and then I'm going to add some ink blending and a finishing touch here as we go let me know down below in the comments what do you make cards for for the most I definitely feel like it would be birthday or Christmas but do you like to have fun doing little holidays like this, like Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. Thank you cards are definitely on top there, like as number three that I make the most of. What do you make the most of? And do you enjoy making little cards like this for the small little events that come up in life? So just a simple, simple coloring, adding in the green, and then I add in a little bit more green for the cups and I totally could have done a different colored cup but I just wanted to keep that green theme going and you're gonna see I do a lighter green because why not and it's really great to be able to stretch your stamps and this stamp set definitely could be for anything because it's coffee and it's hot chocolates and and treats so on since the stamp set is called treat yourself for St. Patrick's Day, we are treating ourselves. So just a fun little card to give to a friend on St. Patrick's Day to cheer them up, brighten their day. Like, hey, I was, I made this and I was thinking of you. Let's go get coffee. Let's go get hot chocolate. Let's have some fun during March. And how can we bless somebody with the little holidays and the little things in life? So I, I'm adding the lighter green in here and then I'm going to add some gray on the whipped cream area just to kind of make the white area stand out. And then I do come in and add a little few highlights as well with the Shakira Jelly Roll pen. And then we're going to get to the ink blending. I wanted the white in the background to remain, but I also wanted to add a little bit more to the background and make everything stand out, make everything finished. So I got out it, 
Distress Oxide ink and I'm going to get out my blending brushes here in a minute and add in some more green and just finish everything off. So as you can see, now I'm just adding those highlights in just where I think they're going to make the image pop a little bit more, stand out against the white background and just makes your images come to life more. And I'm using the number 10 pen. I feel like it does a lot more. It has a stronger line. So here is the Distress Oxide. I'm using Twisted Citron. It's very similar to the color in the cups. So it just brings this these two images to life. It kind of makes them stand out a little bit more. Keeping a little bit of that white so that we have some neutral space, but then bringing in that green. And then I'm using the mode lawn and using a St. Patrick's Day themed sentiment. Happy St. Patrick's Day from one of my other sets and stamping that in the green. And that green really matches the whipped cream that I did. So I really like how that turned out. And then I'm using the scrapbook.com pops of color in apple green to add the finishing touch. So just adding little dots all around on the green area, a few on the white area. These are the sprinkles that are on top, possibly. I just really like how this finished this off. It gave the one layer card a little bit of an element, but it still is basically one layer and adds a little bit more fun to the card. So once the dots were all on, I'm just flicking them to make them flatter and make them more rounded. And then that will finish up the card. And I really like how this turned out. I like that I was able to use a stamp set that would not be for St. Patrick's Day and make it work for the theme. And it's just so fun and festive for St. Patrick's Day. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I have a few more St. Patrick's Day cards coming and an Easter card series and more happy birthday cards and all of the things. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.